So clearly they've, they've searched elderly stud man hunter, and that's when I show up. Thank you. <laughs> Ready? Yep. <laughs> okay. We had a really good time doing this meme comments deal last time, and it looked like y'all enjoyed it, so we want to do it again. There's plenty of mean comments and plenty of good comments, so we're gonna go through the bad first, just like last time, and then we're gonna do questions and good comments. I haven't seen any of these. Neither have I. The guys picked these out in the back. Let's let her rip. Huh? You're gonna love this one. All right. So are, are these the good comments? No, these are the mean comments. Okay. <laughs> Mr. TMC94 says, I'd love to see someone hunt Keith with a 50 cal. Okay, all right. Hmm, what an idiot. This one's a chain, you got three. Oh, the ch a chain hate yep. deal? Okay, they must really hate you. Come on, <laughs> Subra, uh, Subra, Subra, what kind of name is that? Okay, you're killing innocent animals. They're not innocent. See, that one right there that you're referring to, that was eating an orange, okay? That was an orange thief. That orange was put out for a Nyala, and a baboon came to eat it. So the baboon had to check out, okay? She also writes, I'm going to ruin you. Stand in line, baby. Okay, the next one, okay. Take it as a threat. <sighs> Are the doors locked? Are the doors locked? Okay, wait a minute. God bless, I just want to make sure I'm okay. You won't believe how many threats we get, huh? Oh yeah. It's just stupid. Uh, oh, this one comes from an anonymous anonymous. Okay, that's really good. Imagine if the animals had guns and we were the ones they're shooting. That's why they're animals and we're humans. <laughs> it's yeah, a little different. I, I'm, it's just hard to eat them when they're not dead. That's just all there is to it. And uh, when we kill them, we, we uh, do we enjoy it, I guess, is what a lot of people think. You know, I mean, there's something very gratifying about making good shot. You think about that. Yeah, you want to take one ethical shot to take an animal down, for and, sure. And there's people that wind up thinking that, uh, you know, what we ought to do is, I guess, not show joy when we wind up taking an animal. And I think, I mean, I think that a hunter feels good about being able to dispatch one quickly. Yeah, well in, in hunting, like the reason we do it is not to kill, it's for the experience. But at least for me, I have a mix of emotions on every hunt, but I keep doing it for a reason. Okay, I, I remember with that being said, I was filming Maddie on a bear hunt and she shot a bear and he was your first bear. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we'd hunted all week long. And it was the very last hour of the last hunt in typical fashion. And so when she shot it, I, I was filming her and it's like she was smiling and crying and all that and it was pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, a mix of emotions. So, all right, so if y'all want to see that video on Maddie with the Bear, click that link right up there and you'll see it. Okay, I love your content so much. Please make a video using a 50 cal and use your daughter as a target. <laughs> that was creative. <laughs> You haven't read this one? No, I haven't read any of them. You know, let me tell you something. There are some people out there that you call them what? Keyboard what? Keyboard warriors. I, I, I think you're freaking cowards. Because guess what? My address, look it up. I'm not hiding. Hint? God bless you. <laughs> okay. Congratulations, Keith. I got a good one. That's a good one. Okay. Your efforts will be documented one day as a direct contributing factor leading to the demise of fair chase deer hunting. Don't ever call yourself a hunter again. Well, let me tell you something. This guy, this is Mr. Truth, I am a deer hunter. I'm a hunter. I was born to be a hunter, probably like you, but you know what? I was born with a brain and be able to reason and think about it. I'm not going to uh, criticize somebody for wanting an only bow hunter, only duck hunter, buck hunter. I could give a crap. Okay, if you're a hunter, I'm for you. And I think I encourage other people, take the high road. And then when you got somebody that's supposedly Mr. Truth, you're a hunter, I think that's bull crap. I don't think you're a hunter. If you are, you're selfish as hell and you need to pull your head out of your and realize we're all hunters and we're the minority. And if we don't have people join together and look for that common thread that unites us. Huh? 
Yeah, I agree. I mean, okay, if you don't like that, if that's too cruel, whatever, then go back and get some Kleenex and call your mom. That's a, a liberal hunter for you. Yeah. They're just like a liberal ideology, but trying to cram their beliefs down everybody's throat. You know, I'm not trying to cram my belief down anybody's throat. I'm just trying to wake up and say, you know what, everybody? We're all hunters, aren't we? Look for that common thread that pulls us together instead of look for things that divide us. Yeah, tear us all down. Okay, I'm shocked how responsible YouTube community guidelines. Anyway, I just took whole thing recorded and will reach out to PETA against this channel and YouTube to this as serious as killing humans. I just think it's so stupid. I mean, when people wind up putting, comparing animals to humans, I think it's just stupid. I don't know what caused it. The Bambi movies years ago, Walt Disney. I mean, I don't know seriously what just caused ignorance. it. But it's just ignorance for people to think that. I mean, I mean, come on. I want to. I want to say I'm grateful to YouTube for them to allow us to be on there. They've got strict guidelines, and we adhere to those strict guidelines. We do everything we can to uh, portray hunting and, and shooting and. And the, and the gun life in a positive manner, okay? And YouTube allows us that platform to be able to reach over half a million people. I'm grateful for this, and I'm actually grateful for the <laughs> that wind up sending this in because it tells me we got so much more work to do. Right now is a good time for me to point out that over half of you aren't even subscribed to the channel. I'm hoping that you would be. We get tons of good stuff, but people want to hear the bad. But subscribe to the channel. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. We know all the positive support we can get. Okay, here's one that says, and I don't understand the, these things. I mean, these, these people, I think, if you're going to sit, spit something out, spit something out articulately. Okay, this is R mad. You are seriously poaching innocent creatures. Seriously? <laughs> seriously? And this is from a Bessie, whatever. The heck. Bessie? That's my middle name. Yeah, Madison Bess. Okay, so, okay. But Madison Bess, a little bit smarter than that Bessie right there. Oh! Okay, I don't know if I can do this, but this one goes, eh, eh, eh. You know what that means? That means I'm number one. <laughs> what, what if someone shot you like that? <laughs> I died just like that. <laughs> okay. Uh, this guy is hopeless and full of Okay, for an allegedly experienced hunter, he couldn't hit a bull in the arse with a bucket of gravel at five paces. What does PFFT mean? I don't know. I don't know either. But let me tell you something. I may not be a great shot, but I'm pretty dang good at it. Oh, I... Yeah. Poofed. That's oh, what it is. That's what PFFT? Yeah, poofed. <laughs> okay, you're a dipshit. God dang. Okay, here's a. Are we on the good ones yet? We're fixing to be. That's the last bad one. Soulless 50 year old. Thank you, bud. Thank you. I, Thanks, you're 50. Hell yeah! <laughs> and, and you know, one day, I'll tell you what, when you get old like me, I promise you walk past the mirror and you go, who the hell is that old guy? <laughs> you know, because I don't feel old. And when I go outdoors, when I'm getting hunting and fishing and camping and trapping and all that kind of stuff, it's the fountain of youth. Yeah, maybe it's the beard that makes me look so good, huh? I, I'm not a fan of the beard. Comment below, are you a fan of the beard? Some people love it, some people don't. I'm, I'm very curious because everybody is like 50-50 on that. Your vote matters, yes, beard or no so beard. Yes, it does. day I was eating some clam chowder. <laughs> oh, God, I don't even want to hear the story. down here a little bit later, and I found out my tongue goes, mmm, way down there. Okay, oh, all right, let's go. Us. Come on, give me one. All right, these are mm. good and questions that subscribers have. I had cinnamon toast this morning. I just figured that out. <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot to ask you, Keith. What's the heaviest hog that you've harvested and how heavy was it? Great question, Henry. Uh, I've shot 18 wheelers full of hogs. And the biggest one I've ever shot is 305 pounds. And that was on a scale. Yeah, well, and most people think like, yeah, I shot a 300 pound hog. Like the, the Put it on a scale. Right. It's kind of like bears. People say, oh, I shot a 400 pound bear. Did you weigh it? No, but it had to weigh 400 pounds. Yeah, let me tell you something. Yeah. I've taken some deer out of the bottom of the canyon before. When I get it out, I think it weigh 800. <laughs> you know? All right, so uh, keep doing an amazing job, guys. It's very entertaining because you lack, because you, because of lack of knowledge, they don't know anything about what you do. People always will judge you, so go on 
and do your thing, man. You're awesome. I appreciate that. I'm gonna keep going. She's gonna keep going because guess what? We think that we have a whole lot of work to do to encourage more people to take the high road. Yeah. Okay. That was incredible. Oh, oh, this is about the girl when you were knifing the, the hogs, okay? And I uh, said, so that was incredible. This was the first I saw a woman knife a hog. Great bravery, Maddie. Mm. Honestly, it was terrifying. I'm, I love hog dog hunts. Like that's probably one of my favorite things to do now. I'm glad I tried it. I think everybody should try it once. And so, and, and I've done it in the past quite a bit. And when I go out there now, I'm happy that Maddie does it so I don't have to run behind the dog. It's a lot of work. Oh yeah, okay, so here's come here and feel the sense of revenge after watching a video of baboons eating ducklings. Hmm, okay, that, and that's in response to the 50 BMG versus the baboon hunt. I mean, baboons are, I mean, they're bad dudes, okay? And so I like, hunt, I, when I, here's the deal. Tell them when I go to Africa, I mean, we go to Hunter's Hill, okay? And those guys over there, anything you want to hunt, they got 50 or 80 different species. A lot. Tell them what I like to hunt. The baboons, nonstop. He loves hunting baboons, and people think, you know, why would you want to hunt a monkey? They're, they are like feral hogs on steroids. Yeah. They destroy everything. They're mean. They've got fangs. They hurt other animals. So we like, I like killing yeah. baboons. I mean, I like hunting everything, but baboons are my number one thing, at least for the time being. I love the clear respect Keith and Maddie have for the animals they are hunting. Thank you. Thank you very much. We we do respect them all, even the baboons. Thank you. Sorry. Okay, here's one. It's like people expect these guys to spear hunt an animal that can straight up decapitate you or worse with one kick. Okay, and that's with the 50 BMG on the giraffe. Uh, you know, there's people that are always seeing fair chase, but you know, you're not doing fair chase. I really don't know what fair chase is. I mean, uh, clearly, I mean, I think that we do nothing but fair chase, but clearly there's people that don't think that. People say it's disgusting, but did you know what appears on your YouTube page is based on what you have searched before? <laughs> so clearly they, they searched elderly stud man <laughs> hunter, and that's when I show up. Thank you. That's a good one. Here we go. All right, so apparently people think that every nation on earth, especially those in Africa, have grocery stores in every village. Like seriously. WTF. That's a acronym. I know I'm trying to. Okay, do you want to do with them? Okay. Come on, man. I mean, a lot of people go to the grocery store and get their meat and cellophane wrappers. We go with a rifle and we go to the grocery store out in the woods. That's do, you, it. do you know what WTF means? <laughs> no. Okay, That's the last one. This is? Yes. <laughs> okay. Dear Keith, I watch you on YouTube all the time and I've had a lot of fun with you. I'm a disabled veteran. Thank you for your service and I have problems with it. So I spend a lot of time on YouTube and I thank you for the content of your program and I hope you continue with it. It helps me with my PTSD so much you can't believe how much. Thank you for your show. Dalton Davis, you're the man. I appreciate that. Uh, you know, we wound up, we've done a lot of stuff with veterans. Uh, matter of fact, we, I, I continue to do a lot of stuff with veterans and I appreciate you for your service, everybody watching for your service and uh, God bless America. And, that's all of them? Yep, that's all of them. Okay, so if uh, if y'all have any questions or comments, you know what to do, post them below. And if you have an outrageous comment, good or bad, more than likely what they'll do is they'll pick one out for the next one of these, because this seems like it may be some yeah. ongoing thing. Yeah, it's fun. So, you know, if you didn't catch the first version, watch it. <laughs> yeah, wherever it is, we're always going. You gotta tell them to click, because where the hell do you click? Here, here, I mean. But click. I mean, the thing is, and we want you to subscribe while you're at it. Like I said, we need all the good people we can get. For sure. Thanks for watching. So you're brave, huh? I am brave. <laughs> Must be genetic. <laughs> this is terrible, but then again, you do, do look inbred yourself. Inbred is B-R-E-A-D. Inbred, come on, man. This is terrible. I don't know what's terrible, but uh, uh, it's just amazing to me how stupid some people are. You know, I think, okay, they get behind that computer and they're 10 foot tall and bulletproof. 
come and tell me to my face.